Hi, I'm Johnny Baker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use a KitchenAid stand mixer to save a shitload of money on dog food. Before we get started, I wanted to tell you guys one thing is that the reason that I got started with learning how to cook, learning how to bake, learning about how to use ingredients is because I've actually lost over a hundred pounds and I'm going to put a picture of what I looked like before I started. Hey, you want to go get some food? You need food, right? Okay, we're ready to go make some food, so come on with me. I've inserted the flat beater attachment. Now I'm just gonna lower the head, lock it in place, and I'm going to slowly, because I don't want eggs splattering all over the place. Eggs, rice, and potato would be a pretty nasty mess. So I'm going to slowly, uh, not gonna use the shield, but I'm going to slowly turn this on and start to beat it. As you can see, everything starts beating together quite nicely, very quickly. I have not added the pea protein yet, I have not added the cheese, and I have not added the carrot. So I just want to give this a chance to kind of get rolling along and get this settled. This shouldn't take more than about another few seconds. And when we come back, I will have added the carrot, the cheese, and the pea protein. See you in a second. Okay, I'm gonna put the pea protein powder in, and this has 24 grams of protein per scoop. So I'm gonna put in eight scoops, and I also have 18 eggs in this mixture. So my dog is not lacking for protein. I didn't mention the eggshells are also gonna go in too. So I'm gonna come back when everything is in. You don't need to watch me put in eight scoops. Be right back. One thing you're gonna to wanna to do that is extremely important, especially for calcium, is going to be to save the eggshells. So when you are, when you are deshelling your eggs, you're going to want to cast those aside somewhere and then put them in the oven. And I'm gonna put them in the micro, Hello, not in the microwave. I'm gonna put them in the oven and I'm gonna put the, them in the oven for 10 minutes on 350 degrees. And at that point, I'm gonna make sure that they're dry. They have to be 100% dry. Once they're dry, I put them in a coffee grinder. I grind them up into powder. And then I either put that powder into the mix, into the big mix, or I put it little by little, day by day. Uh, in this situation, I actually have not yet uh, heated up the eggshells, so I'm gonna do that while I'm mixing up the other ingredients and I may just put the eggshells aside and then just uh, sprinkle on top of his food at every meal. Okay, thank you. Okay, now I have the eggshells going and they are in the oven. They will be going for anywhere. I set it for actually for 15 minutes. I told you guys 10 minutes because I read that it creates some horrible sulfur smell if you go over 10 minutes. Um, personally, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. The sulfur smell isn't that intense and I'd rather make sure that my eggshells are completely dried out and that they're completely cooked so there's no threat of any uh, bacteria being on there. So for me, if I have to go 15 minutes or 16 minutes, fine with me and if it smells a little bit, I'd rather have that. Now, again, as you can see, the carrot is in the bowl as well as the protein powder and we're just gonna mix that in and we'll do that right now probably should have put the top on it in this one but whatevs i'm gonna stop it 
Okay, I have overfilled the bowl. I have really overfilled the bowl, but this mixer is killer and it's still really doing its job. So I've got a couple more seconds and thank you very much KitchenAid. You guys kick ass. Hey guys, so this is what the final product looks like. And as you can see, it's packed in there pretty well. It's extremely heavy. I mean, we're talking about, I would say, oh Jesus, wow. Okay, you can hear that <laughs> come down. That's probably 15 pounds at a minimum, 15 pounds of food. So that's a lot of food. And I'm just gonna put it into individualized serving portions and this is actually what I use, nothing glamorous, these Gladware. Uh, supposedly they're PCB free, um, but that's what I use and I will just be putting those into those containers. That'll be it. That's basically my week's worth of food. And I gotta honestly say, I, I'm not contracted obviously with, with uh, KitchenAid, but this baby here is what makes it all possible because it just does the job right. It, it just does a freaking awesome job. And there's no way I could have put this together by hand. I mean, this is probably 15, maybe 20 pounds of food and it is so dense. And I just couldn't hand mix something like that. There's no, no way. So thank you KitchenAid, very glad I bought you. Okay, the food is made. Now I'm gonna show you what happens. My dog loves this food more than it. I wanted to come back again before I portion this off because now that it's done, it's amazing because the beet powder added color and now it looks like meat. I mean, this is basically, you know, except for the egg, it's a vegetarian dish. It's vegetarian dog food. And I mean, this looks like meat. This is incredible. I mean, I'm going to throw some of my dog. Okay, my dog is coming up right now. Hey, Jackson. It's almost like... This is really meat. I'm gonna throw it on the floor and let's see what happens. <laughs> it's just like regular meat. Unbelievable. Wow. Wow, I'm gonna give him some more. This is awesome. This is so freaking healthy. This is healthier than anything that you're gonna get in the dogs in, 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 a, in a store. This really looks like meat. This is hilarious. Wow, little baby. That boy loves his food. He loves his food. Look at that baby. Good boy. Such a good boy. Ow, okay. <laughs> Got a little finger there that kind of hurts, but just goes to show. I don't recommend doing this at home. Ow, <laughs> he's gentle, but... <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, I love you. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Okay, this is the best food ever. I'm so glad I added this bee powder. <laughs> wow. You guys gotta My try dog this. is just freaking out and dying for this. Are you freaking out and dying for this? You really, oh my God. Okay, well that was your second dinner, so I can't give you a third dinner. I love you, but you can't have a third dinner. I know, you're very sad. It's a very sad story. But anywho, there we go. That is the finished product, and that is going to go into the freezer. This is going to be one of about 10 containers that's going to go in. So. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Thanksgiving. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving 2018. So I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday. Thank you.